if your LG front load washer is displaying an LE error code, it means that it's detecting a locked motor error, which basically means either you have a loose connection near the motor, your hall sensor is bad, or you have a broken wire. And it's a really easy fix. We'll fix it from the back of the washer. The first step is going to be to remove this back panel. To remove the panel, just lift and pull the bottom out first. The next step is going to be removing this center bolt for the rotor. It's a 17 millimeter. Get a socket and you'll notice that the rotor will move when you turn your socket. The trick is, is to kind of give it a quick pop in a counterclockwise fashion. Once you have this bolt off, you should be able to wiggle the rotor loose. It will give you some resistance, but just wiggle it back and forth until it comes out. The next step is, is we're going to remove these bolts. These are all 10 millimeter. Before you remove the last bolt and the stator, you're going to want to disconnect the wire from these mounts. There's three screws that hold this motor wire harness in place. We're actually going to remove this last screw down here. After you remove the last screw, carefully bring the stator down like this and disconnect the motor harness and then the hall sensor harness. And put the stator to the side for now. Now your problem either lies with this section of the harness. When the washer goes into spin mode and it goes off balance, this wire tends to flex. And as it flex, it could break one of the wires in this sheathing over time. It's really not worth it to test whether the wire harness or the hall sensor is bad. These are both very inexpensive parts. You could usually pick up a motor harness for less than $20. And the hall sensor, I definitely recommend buying a genuine LG hall sensor. And it can also be bought for less than $20. bucks. we are going to finish removing this motor harness and then we'll change the hall sensor. Oddly enough, this ground screw happens to be a Torx bit. You can remove it with a T20. This is the hall sensor, and to remove it, you're gonna find these, these tabs on the inside, and you're gonna kind of bend them up a little bit, and then you should be able to tilt, and it'll pop right off, very easy. The new hall sensor is gonna look exactly like your old one, and the reassembly is just the same. You're gonna to wanna to line it up to these two little tabs here and just kind of push straight down. It might take you a second to do it, but it'll click right into place. It should be secure here, here, and on the outside of the motor on those three tabs. Next, we're going to plug in the new motor harness and just make sure everything is connected firmly until you hear the click. Now we're ready to reinstall. The wire harness is going to come out at the roughly about 7-ish o'clock area and we're going to take one bolt and just kind of get it started. Once we have this in place, we're ready to reconnect our brackets and then we'll finish mounting the stator. Take your lower harness and plug them back in. The blue connects to the blue, and the white connects to the white. Pull the plastic bag over it, and then use your tie that was originally with the washer. Now we're going to put the rest of the bolts back on. The next step is, is going to be to remount the rotor assembly. Now make sure you didn't get anything in the rotor assembly. The clearances are very tight, and so if you got a piece of metal or anything stuck in here, it's going to make for a very noisy machine. Now be careful when you put this in because the magnets want to draw itself in so you don't pinch your fingers. It's a really good idea if you do to put some Loctite on this bolt. There is a locking washer so it's not really like 100% mandatory because there is some residual Loctite on these threads. But if you have some laying around it's definitely a good idea to do so. You only need just a little bit. Once you get it pretty tight, you're going to notice that you're going to be turning the tub. So the trick is, is to give it a quick pop until it's pretty tight. And now you're good to go. I'm going to put the cover back on and then we'll test our work and see if we got it. 
So I'm always curious to see what actually happened. And in this case, the motor harness actually got burnt up. And I was a little curious to see why. I noticed there was some green-like corrosion on the jacketing. And this was all kind of corroded looking. And this just doesn't happen very often with LG machines. So I looked at the top and I noticed that this one cold water valve was leaking a little bit. It's ever so subtle. It's just enough to put a couple of drops down there. But over time, it got that harness wet and caused the corrosion and uh, ultimately caused it to break. In addition to this water washer needing a harness and a hall sensor, I'm going to replace this cold water valve as well. And then this washer should be good for another 10 or 15 years. Thanks for watching.